This is Darth Ravage 07 today coming at you with another quick review today. Uh, I'm trying to get in uh, one of my first Patreon posts and thought I'd do a new figure at that and a YouTube channel at the same time. This is Transformer Studio Series Outback Bumblebee. I have uh, been looking forward to this figure since I found out they were making it and uh, gotta say I'm fairly pleased with the results here and just gonna go around the block here and his uh, if you have the original movie bumblebee these will peg in on the sides of the jeep mode and there's a look at the back it's kind of neat thinking about how many if they get get uh, transformers in a proper movie there you can see I don't that's not uh, Michael Bay and uh, but this is Travis Knight's deal here and uh, here's a look at the bottom so you can see how that works out there's no real visible head but visible hand his his stinger gun will, will fit there and this is actually from the tape cassettes I just I really do like this figure a whole lot when the figure comes it will come with uh, the hubcaps on the front being yellow and I just couldn't handle that mm. I might have had it actually a little bit of wear oh I, I, I fixed it with some sharpie and made it all nice and dark in one color and I think it does a lot to make it a little bit better there little simple fixes to make you know, figure good there is one little buyer beer we're warning with the first copy of this i got from comic envy thanks again to ryle nick allison and charlie uh really i'm going to miss you guys this next couple of weeks uh, this side was broken there's nothing but uh i went took it back and they they're such a great bunch they, they're going to send back the broke piece and they've got me already set up with this new one <clears throat> and i really do appreciate them for hanging on and allow me to do pre-orders and pre-buys to them there at comic mv and uh i will do whatever i can to support them as they're going through an equally hard time right now trying to they're having to close the doors for the next foreseeable future but they're going to get an online thing going so definitely go check them out on their facebook and their uh website i'll post in it's down in the description below right down there but anyway this is a really great jeep mode and i really do thank them again for getting this in and giving me a call and uh so in our area Asheville, uh, we are under a mendo everything's closed pretty much unless it's essential like a grocery shop and gas that kind of thing um Everything's closed up pretty much, and uh, all I can say is we need to, you know, pray for everyone right now. It is an equally hard time across the globe. Uh, we're not the only ones going through these lockdowns, and uh, it's just really uh, these things will test the resilience of us, and we just got to stay true and strong and follow the guidelines. I've also out there in my Corona Vlog channel have a funny you know little thing from yesterday with the dishes showing how it spreads and you know let's, let's clean this mess up but we're gonna go back to this review right now apologize about getting a little bit on a tangent I haven't seen bumblebee in the movie he is uh he, he scans a jeep mode upon his arrival to earth and uh it's a fun sequence there uh i was geeking during the whole sequence so anyway uh i'm gonna pause and get him in his robot mode and uh, could finish off this review. And here is Bumblebee in his excellent uh, B movie uh, robot mode. Has uh, got some of the big feet like he did in, in that that film. And uh, love his blaster how it molds right into fit over his arm without having to take his hand out. It's a really nice touch. I do got uh, that contrast with the tape uh bumblebee edition from gamestop to show it pegs on to his forearms is good along with the other uh release that was the first release i got 
it matches the plastic pretty doggone good. I thought that was a really nice tip with the engineers. He has a waist swivel, thigh swivel, the knees have an extra big bend. He's got ankle rockers so you can get the dynamic poses going and stuff. And uh, as such, he has a faux chest that comes up that I really like that they kind of kept the true to the movie. The only thing that he doesn't have on this that I was watching this last night was that he doesn't have the little door wings. <laughs> they actually are right here on his legs, but it completes the look of his leg and then the tires fill in at the back of his shin. So everything is like really nice. It goes somewhere from one mode to the next in this uh, figure. Uh, really am glad that they finally did get this out. It's one of those better late than never. So the only thing that is a minor nitpick is the way that his head does due to transformation. And it looks a little weird in some poses, but then you can still get him to look like the beef in the movie and his deep mode. And it's a much appreciated uh, piece to have finally to the Studio Series collection. Again, I'd like to take the time to thank Comic Envy, Ryle, Nick, Ch uh, Charlie, and Allison. You guys have all been super awesome to me over these last few years, and I'm hoping this will help, you know, you guys get some uh, view, uh, people calling you and hitting you up to get those awesome comic books that y'all have in there as well. They they have collectibles like these in their store, and on they're they're looking to get that online. So please uh, also help them out uh, if you have uh, if you like what they see. You can see a need in, in there, like I said down in the description below there. Um, if you like this video, please just smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, <clears throat> comment below, and also don't forget to you know visit my Patreon account and. Uh, I th I'm thankful for all those who have subscribed to my YouTube channel so far. And uh, we're going to keep moving forward and keep putting out awesome content and uh, help support those that support me. Uh, thanks so very, very much. Uh, you guys have an excellent and safe weekend out there. It's Friday, March 26th. This is the end of week two for us here in Asheville area for the self-imposed quarantine. has been turned up a notch and we have a mandatory for two weeks. So... Uh, please bend to watch my videos on your ch on my channel and uh, help support your other fellow YouTubers out there. We're all in the same boat together until all are one. Thank you again.